John chapter 13. John chapter 13 begins these chapters up to John chapter 17 of Jesus' last evening of his public ministry with his disciples. He's about to face the cross and he's spending this last evening with the people that he loves, that he loves the most on the face of the earth. And the Bible says that he got up from dinner and he put on the form of a servant and he began to wash the disciples' feet. Of course, you have the humorous incident of uh, Peter saying, you'll never wash my feet. And then when Jesus says, if I don't wash your feet, I, you have nothing to do with me. He says, no, no, no give me a bath. <laughs> That's interesting. I, I don't mean to go into the whole, uh, whole thing of the foot washing and what that means. But I just want to point you to three perspectives, three things. Pointing forward, pointing back, and pointing to the now. Pointing forward, pointing back, and pointing to the now from our perspectives. Application now, okay? Pointing forward from where Jesus is, this incident of Jesus washing the disciples' feet points forward to the cross. The chapter begins by saying he loved his own that were in the world. He loved them to the end, to the very end. And that end is the end of the cross. Of course, the cross is really only the beginning. But here is where I'm, where I'm coming from. Not only said, does it say that he, went to the, he, the, that he loved them to the end, it says that he got up from the place of authority, got on his knees in the form of a servant, washed the disciples' feet, and went back and sat down and put on his robe of authority. What is that if that is not a picture of Jesus' coming from glory? Becoming in the form of a human being, humbling himself even to the point of death, so that he might wash your filthy, yours, yours and my filthy lives and feet, and then going back to the place of authority and glory. That this is a picture of Jesus as not only the cross but his entire ministry. What he did for you and for me, his sacrifice, his sacrifice for you and for me. What a beautiful picture of the cross. From the perspective of the foot washing, the future. From the perspective of the foot washing, now the past. In John chapter 12, we find that Jesus, Jesus' own feet were washed by Mary, the sister of Lazarus and Martha. She poured, she undid her hair in humility like a servant, came up behind him and washed his feet pouring on oil, the perfume just filled the whole place. And Jesus fully embraced it, accepted this extreme, extravagant, and only acceptable worship. Looking back to the past, she then became a picture of Jesus' own sacrifice of the cross. And so how does this point to our present? Jesus said to the disciples, If I have done this for you, you do it for one another. In another place, Jesus says, As much as you do these things to me, to them, to the least of these, my brothers, you do it to me. So, where does that leave us? It leaves us washing feet like Jesus washed ours and washes ours still. As Peter needed, needed to go back to Jesus for his foot washing, even though he was fully bathed, we need to come to Jesus for our foot washing every day. And then we need, need to live out our cleaned up condition by cleaning, washing, forgiving, serving one another. That's just what people who have been cleansed by Jesus, our servant King, this is what those people do. Like Mary, may we display the beauty of the cross in the way that we serve, forgive, the way that we love. I hope that brought some insight into this very well-known story, some angles that we don't always think about, but over the years the story has become so much more meaningful to me and I hope it becomes more and more meaningful to you in the days to come. In this virus time, when you are caught in the same space, 
with the same faces all around you. How are you being Christ in his servant form to them? I leave you with that challenge. Blessings.